designed um, by a gentleman called Ian Ashby um, it was himself um, and two other co-founders Pete Kenyon um, and another gentleman called Justin um, the reason why they decided to design sleep pods was following um, some time that they spent in Calais supporting refugees um, and having seen the conditions that people were having to live in um, they decided to come away from that experience and try and make a real difference by designing um, a solution which would essentially keep people warm and dry in severe weather conditions. Um, it was also really important to them that sleep pod could be quite light, lightweight so that they could be moved around quite easily. We, we distribute sleep pods to organisations that directly support rough sleepers. Sleep pod is designed to be a temporary solution. Ultimately, we don't want to see anybody sleeping rough on the, on the streets. Kim Simmons, I'm the CEO and founder of Law365 and Cloud Contracts 365. So I decided to do the CEO sleep out today because we've been supporting Porchlight for many years from my businesses and it's something that's very close to my heart. I have um, come from, I'm half Lebanese, half English and my family, um, I was born during the war in Lebanon and I've seen homelessness um, firsthand and it's something that I understand is very real and uh, incredibly difficult to get yourself out of so it was something very close to my heart and that's why I'm here supporting this incredibly worthy charity. Hi, my name's Mark, I'm, I'm from, from Kent um, and I'm here today uh, really to, well, one, raise obviously money for a really worthy cause uh, but also raise awareness um, and it's actually been a bit of an eye-opener some of the presentations that we've seen today um, and and yeah hopefully uh, it will give me an appreciation of what uh, people have to go through and uh, will, will lead me to hopefully continue to potentially volunteer in the future uh, and, and continue to raise money. Hello I am Matthew Foray, Managing Director of OO Group um, I live in the Kent area in Dartford and we're here supporting the CEO sleep out. Why it's important to us, we've got a well we've got a Kent based business, but all of our clients are actually in London and we see homelessness first time from walking into a business meeting, coming out of a business meeting, and it's something that landed on our radar in 2016. Me and my business partner actually have slept homeless nearly every single year in a row until this year. Um, we found the CEO sleep out, organised the event really, really well. Um, and I think it's just a great way to raise awareness. And really, it's just one night in the entire year, which I think anyone could really do. Um, and we enjoy it, and it's something that we'll be doing for a long time. Um, I'm Adam and I'm here for CEO Sleep Out. I am a trustee uh, and on the board for Porchlight. I just joined about two months ago, um, so I wanted this to be one of my first fundraisers, I suppose, and show some attention to the cause. We're all sleeping out here tonight um, in relatively safe places, but unfortunately the stark reality is for many people who would be sleeping out and sleeping rough right now, um, or risk of, um, you know, it's, it's not so safe. And we've heard this evening from um, people with lived experiences um, and what they've experienced um, sleeping on the streets and trying to find places for comfort and safety. My name is James Hawkins, uh, one of the directors of OO Group. Um, now, the reason I'm here tonight doing the CEO sleep out is in 2016, me and my business partner, Matthew Foray, um, was doing the London Marathon uh, for a homeless charity. Um, whilst doing that, obviously we wanted to raise awareness uh, for homelessness. Um, rather than doing a charitable event, we took it upon ourselves to actually experience um, the, the charity that 
we was uh, following. Uh, so we actually slept homeless for 24 hours. Uh, obviously coming across a lot of um, stories which kind of touched home. Um, now this is something obviously that is close to our hearts and something that we have um, followed now for the last six to seven years and continue to follow. Um, so hopefully some, the money that we are all raising tonight can contribute towards that with our, our Porchlight charities and other partners who are raising money for. So one of the things um, about this is that it's drawn me completely out of my comfort zone. It's um, something that I haven't connected to in a while and I go you know, I'm very lucky to have a warm bed every single night. I'm very lucky to have a great job and to have the support system around me. But that's because I have that and that's been given to me. Hi, I'm Kevin Prescott. I'm the Managing Director of Hodos Media. Um, I'm supporting CEO Sleep Out because I think uh, they're good at helping the smaller charities and I think some of the smaller charities sometimes struggle to get funding away from the big boys. So I think there's a lot of impact there and you know, my particular charity I like to support is Porchlight but I think all of the smaller charities deserve some help as well. Yeah, uh, I, I work for a company who are very supportive of local communities. Um, and uh, for me personally, we, we, we tend to give a donation every year and it, it tends to be around Christmas time. Um, and uh, I always think of uh, people uh, living out in, in the cold conditions and couldn't, couldn't ever imagine it. Um, this evening it's fairly mild, but actually um, it's going to be very tough. So, uh, yeah, I, I, just, I just feel like it's, it's a worthy cause um, and supporting uh, homelessness is, is, is uh, you know, it's, a great, it's a great charity. Um, I think my, my connectivity um, with communities in the past in central London and, and supporting people who are either on the cusp of um, becoming homeless or living in extremely poor conditions in the housing uh, that they were living in. So I used to advocate for them and support them and link them up to uh, the right services that can kind of help them when they felt extremely vulnerable. So um, yeah, kind of privileged in some ways to, to have those experiences alongside people, but at the same time the reality is kind of like, is very sad. Um, and I kind of, we feel like we are in a celebratory mood maybe that we're doing something, but it's quite a sombre moment when we think we're what we're, we're raising money for um, uh, and, and then what we're doing tonight so yeah and I think for those who don't have that um, I want to give to them and be able to give them a chance and opportunity to have the right support around them and that's why I am supporting this very worthy charity hi I'm councillor Rob Crayford I'm a councillor for Faversham Town Council I'm doing this tonight to raise awareness for homelessness and to raise money for porch light Unfortunately, Porchlight have had their funding cut by Kent County Council and they rely on that money to operate homeless hostels within Kent. So I'm hoping tonight we can raise some money for Porchlight and help the homeless. Everyone fundraising tonight is making a huge difference to make that happen. Did the uh, CEO sleep out for the night. It was an opportunity for us to understand a little bit of what the people who we support go through every night. But the truth is that we were safe here. We were within the walls of a castle, inside a moat. That is nothing compared to what the people who are sleeping on the streets go through. Here, we were safe. 
we weren't vulnerable. We could have our possessions with us. There was no risk of someone taking our possessions. And I think that's one thing that people don't understand when they see people rough sleeping, is that actually you have to have a different relationship with the world around you, with the people around you, with your possessions. There is danger all around you, there's risk, and you have to have that different relationship because you can't own things anymore. All you can do is have the possessions that you can carry. But when you move, when you have to move during the day to stay safe, or when you're woken up and disturbed during the night and you have to move on, you have to be able to pick everything up quickly and take it with you. So anything you can't carry isn't yours. It has no value anymore. And the stuff that you have with you, it can't have any visible value because then you become a target for other people. So this, this was a great experience in terms of a fundraising event, in terms of bringing people together, in terms of raising awareness. But the truth is, this is only a snapshot of a very small part of what people go through every day. We've actually managed to raise over the last 10 years 4.4 million, which is a huge amount that is able to help these small charities. So bring on 2025. last night I kept kind of waking up um, got me ear buds in went off like a dream um, it was an, it, the night was good no rain so but what a great cause and I think we've raised about 30,000 so awesome Well, that's a wrap on CEO Sleepout 2024 in Kent. What an amazing, amazing night. Everyone was just so, just inspiring and, and wanting to be a part of it and raising money for Porchlight and Amber Foundation. Listening to the lived experience speakers always gets me and I know it got everybody in the audience last night as well and raising awareness of people experiencing homelessness, the cuts that charities are facing now and the fact that homelessness is increasing at a very rapid rate. So everyone this morning is feeling a little bit sleepy. Um, so we've got the good old caffeine going and we're just waiting on the bacon rolls. But the words that everyone has left with this morning has been thank you. And I'm thinking a lot more about this now and being able to take that back into the workplaces and to be able to talk about it and inspire others to come and do sleep outs to raise funds for charities. For me, it was a very interesting experience because I've never slept out before. But the, the interesting thing is that uh, we, we, we slept in a space that was uh, kind of secure. Uh, we were together, we didn't feel any kind of, uh, any form of threat uh, to our lives or our property. And uh, we're here this morning, we're going back to our comfortable homes. Uh, but there are millions of people out there who don't have anywhere comfortable to go to. They're going to repeat this sequence tonight and the night after and probably for the rest of the year.